Good morning. Welcome to our assembly this morning. Welcome to those who've joined us before and welcome also to those who are joining us for the first time. Each day we're going to have a Bible story, a song and some activities. We hope you enjoy them. We will be online every Tuesday and Thursday at 9.45. Have you ever done something for someone and not been thanked? Or had someone help you with something but you've forgotten to thank them for their help? A few years ago I lost my car keys. I looked all over the house for them and couldn't find them anywhere. At the time I was living with five other girls and after a couple of days of being unable to find my keys I asked them to help me have a look. They looked everywhere for them. They looked in the kitchen, the living room and even checked their own bedrooms in case I'd somehow managed to leave them there. Eventually, they decided to see if they could find them in my room. One of my friends managed to find them. They had fallen down the side of my bed. I was so relieved that my car keys had been found that I didn't say thank you to my friends for the amount of time and effort they'd spent looking for my keys and for actually managing to find them. I still feel bad for not saying thank you to them. Painted colours in the sky Made the clouds a tower high We worship, we worship you You scatter stars with holy hands Dusted rock with golden sands We worship, we worship you It's a beautiful world out there Simply awesome beyond compare It's a beautiful world out there And it's made by you We bow down Humble by the world you made King of love and King of grace Our voices in wonder and louder than thunder roar You completely take our breath away A simple prayer is this each day we long for your love, or to be like a tidal wave, tidal wave, tidal wave, like a tidal wave. You made the mighty oceans roll, stretch them out from shore to shore. We worship, we worship you. You prayed that life can skip it through, dance the song of joy to you. We worship, we worship. It's a beautiful world out there Simply awesome beyond compare It's a beautiful world out there And it's made by you We bow down Humble by the world you made King of love, King of grace Our voices in wonder and louder Take 
Hello from Mrs. K. Today our story from the Bible is about Jesus healing ten men with leprosy. The man who came back. Jesus and his disciples were on the way to Jerusalem and had reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As Jesus entered a village, ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out, Jesus, please make us better. With leprosy, they couldn't go near anybody in case people caught it. They were very, very ill. Their fingers were numb and their faces were scarred. Jesus looked at them and prayed for them. And then he sent them off and said, go, find a priest. A priest was the person who examined people to see whether they had leprosy. And as they went, they realized that they were healed from their leprosy. Their fingers were fine. Their faces were alike new. They were happy, healed and whole. Then one of them, a Samaritan man, when he saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus shouting, praise God. And he fell to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him for what he had done. Jesus asked, didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Never mind, I'm just pleased that you came back. Your faith has healed you. Isn't that another great story about what Jesus can do? God can heal people in all sorts of ways. But it's really good to say thank you to Jesus and also thank you to other people when they help us. This list can be written words or you could draw some pictures or you can even make models of things that you are thankful for. So I'm going to write five things that I am thankful for. Then what you can do is thank God that you are thankful for these things. Hello again from Mrs K. In our story today, only one of the people who was made better by Jesus went back to say thank you. And Jesus was really pleased that he did say thank you, but a bit disappointed that the others didn't. How do you feel when someone says thank you to you? Does it make you feel good? Do you feel special and appreciated? This week, think about how you can thank other people. Try and be as thankful as you can in every situation. Maybe when your mum makes you a nice meal, you can say, oh, thank you very much for making the meal. And you can say thank you if you're at school. You can say thank you to your teacher. There might be times when you can say thank you to your friends. And there might be times at home when you can thank other members of your family. Count how many times you can say thank you this week and really mean it. Have a good week. Here we go. Lots of clapping too. Here we go. I have one, two feet on my legs, and I know I can use them to walk and run, to jump and spin. I will need some more to bring your love, Lord. Wherever I go, please help me bring your love. I have one, two hands on my Let's do some wavy. To wave and shake. Hello again. And 
I think we can do it faster. Let's do it. Walk and run and jump and spin a wave and shake and clap, clap, clap. Look and see and blink and wink. Now, I still think we can do it faster. Walk and run and jump and spin a wave and shake and clap, clap, clap. And look and see and blink. Walk and run and jump and spin, wave and shake and clap, 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 look and see and blink and wink. I want to use them all to bring your love, Lord. Wherever I go, please help me bring your love. Let's wave those hands. Woo! And we're finished with a bit of a high five. Yeah.